Good morning everyone. My name is Tete Tlauron. I'm a climate justice activist based in Manila, Philippines. Thank you very much to Arrow for giving me this opportunity to be part of the 24th International AIDS Conference talking about the intersections of our struggle for climate justice with the many structural and systemic problems that we are facing. So um, this uh, initiative is part of the uh, Arrow publication last year around um, the status of the climate negotiations and I was very, very um, honored to uh, have written the editorial for this publication. So we all know the importance of um, climate negotiations because this is the international community's response to the many challenges uh, we are experiencing because of increasing global temperatures, because of the growing and the intense impacts of the climate crisis, especially on vulnerable and marginalized populations. We all know that um, last year there was this um, conference of parties in Glasgow, Scotland. Supposedly, this was framed as the last chance to steer climate action back towards meeting the objectives of keeping global temperature uh, rise in check and also to mobilize international support for climate action. We all know that the climate crisis is impacting progress made towards gender equality, the closing of gender wage gaps, maternal health, and sexual rights because we see that more destructive disasters displace women and girls and damage physical infrastructure that cater to their reproductive and sexual health. A lot of studies also made by Arrow show how the climate crisis also increases the incidence of gender-based violence related to the scarcity of natural resources and how women and girls travel farther distances to secure food and water. As a result, feminists and activists worldwide continue to face the challenges of getting these issues resolved in official climate negotiations where business as usual always prevails. So um, I'd like to give you some key messages that we would like to um, highlight you know, as part of the publication, but also as part of our continuing struggle as part of the global justice community. First, of course, is that we must not accept business as usual. We deserve more, not just from the climate negotiations, but we deserve more from the institutions of global governance that supposedly you know, serve and uphold the interests of people and planet. We have seen how year after year, climate 